So this is a cult conversation I had with another reporter, a cult who uh, mainly utilizes YouTube to inform people of what's going on with different cults and different things like that. And I just wanted to kind of tell y'all and let y'all know and point out that what you guys are seeing Carbonation and these other weird organizations doing, it's not normal, but it is normal in cult, in the cult world. And I need people to recognize that and don't fall for it. Please remember that these people are looking up to a man, to men who are currently in prison for doing horrendous things to people. They're cult members and they're actively recruiting. Don't be fooled by the glamour, the glitz, the music, or the photos. All right. So, well, <clears throat> um, I just, I, okay, so, you know, this is Immortal Morals, and I brought you up and came to you for your expertise about this particular situation because, as you know, and as you have seen, that these cults are actively um, using Proper social media. Yeah, they're, 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 they're actively recruiting. In, yes. in all sorts of ways. And I and I came to you because you have way more knowledge about uh, the Nuwapians, but you say they go by the, their Sapiens now? There's Sapiens, there's Nuwapians, and there's different sects among those. Okay. And so the reason I wanted to talk about this because I noticed that, you know, the men in Carbonation are hitting bigo and instagram hardcore like they are right. they're hitting it hard so i'm like okay i gotta figure out what's going on and then i noticed tron which he goes by another name i can't really pronounce Kunhum or something like that i don't know that he follows dr york which is the sabians so and i've noticed he's been posting like crazy out of nowhere all of a sudden well yeah and now right now from and what he's I doing know. interviews on youtube and i've never seen him do anything like this so i'm like you know what let me come to you because you know more about this than i do so yes. tell, explain to me explain to us what's mm -hmm. going on okay so right now from what we can gather it seems like they're okay so about three weeks ago maybe i stumbled across a sabian room on clubhouse so in that room was Prince York, Moody York, which are two of the wait, sons. Wait, Prince York? You mean the guy that used to... The one that dyed his beard and look, walk around here looking like Lionel, but he ain't but 20, 25, 26. Yeah, him. Right, and he and he dated Nateri at one time. That Okay, so he was in that room too. Yes. He's and in that room a lot. Not the one I sent to, you, but the one to distance private. himself from he that. He distanced himself lie. He has his daddy's costumes. <laughs> oh my the God. only reason he's distance, quote unquote, distancing himself is because he got bust out a couple of years ago because for child abuse of his girlfriend's child. What? Yeah. Well, what did he do? This is like before he started dyeing his beard and everything. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Got it. Okay. So they were in the room and Moody was snapping off and he was going off about how um they won't even find out when York passes until until the news put it out because they have like no contact. But that's the Nuwabians' fault because they've been doing all that mess through the years that drove them to not let them contact York. So fast forward and two, three days ago, there was another room, some kind of way. They got one of the victims of York over there. Well, I know how they, they tricked them over there. But in that room was Uma York, Moody York, Walla York, um, phase, phase one, another of York's children. Um, 
Are you and, on Beagle? Because I noticed there's a York called Beagle. Mm, I can be on Beagle, but I don't like have. I'm not a you know a host or anything. I but don't um, know. I'm gonna okay, send let you me a run picture. it down to you like this. I'm gonna send you a picture. When York got arrested, he got arrested in in a grocery store parking lot in Milledgeville. I want to say it's a Piggly Wiggly, but it could have been something else. The same day they raided Tamaray, right? Tamaray, right? Okay. Okay. So after that, there was this big campaign to spread misinformation amongst the members about why York was incarcerated. Like, you'll hear them say stuff like, well, York isn't in jail for child molestation. No, he's in jail for a RICO charge of transporting children across state lines for the purposes of sexual acts. And he when admitted that in court. He pled guilty after. But wait, wait, this is this is what they'll do. They'll say, well, York was tested and he tested negative for herpes. Paul. <laughs> I have the medical documents. York tested negative for herpes simplex one. That's a bum bum. Oh. He tested okay. positive for herpes simplex two. When he got those results back, he pled guilty. Wow. Yes. Okay. Got it. Okay. If they say something like, oh, say, um, see, this is why I told you, you can probably piece in some of that rant I used last night because that'll have some pertinent information too. But needless to say, New Wapian slash Sabian slash York children have been running around proselytizing for a good couple of months. It started last year right after Polite got arrested. Polite never met York. It is true that York named his daughter and his wife, but it was through mail and it was after York was in jail. So basically one of the, the people that worked at the bookstore named your wife and your daughter polite. I just wanted to put that in there. And, um, <laughs> wow. But they say like they have people out saying that they were on Tamaray and they were not because Tamaray was not a paradise. Those people were damn near starving to death. I've interviewed one ex-member who said that when he went down there for Savior's Day, people were begging for $5 to buy a sandwich. Oh now, if God. Tamara Ray was such a utopia, why would you have to do that? Yeah, the guy that was in the video that I posted a week or two ago said the same thing, that, that people were always hungry. Yes, because, always okay, hungry. York had bookstores all over the world, right? Right. So the bookstores gathered all the money and sent it to the main bookstore in Tamaray. All of the 50s and 100s were separated and those were sent to York. The rest of the money was banded up and put into the bank minus $2,000, which was used for everything on the land. Now, it was about six or 700 people on the land. How long can you feed? And all of that money didn't, not even half of that money went to them for feeding wow. them, for necessities. Right. The females had to go to the office to ask for sanitary products. Oh my God. The females that were in disfavor had to jump over an open sewage line to get out of their trailer. One of the females that was pregnant by York at the time fell through the shower floor. Now, people, they'll say, well, why did these parents let York do this? Let me tell you something. York separated the parents, and then he separated the children from the parents. Just and like then, all cult members. Cult, wait, cult wait, 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 wait. <laughs> then he proceeded to separate them by gender. Mm. And then they were kept segmented by age. Now... If you look at an aerial map of Tamaray, it's 444 acres, that's true. But only 19 was used for quote-unquote Tamaray. The rest of it was wild forest. Okay? Uh-huh. Okay. So there was pyramid buildings, there was the trailers, and then there's this road that goes up. 
on one side of the road is a playground. And let mind you, where this road starts, where it meets the other roads, nobody's allowed to come there. So when you go, when you look to the right, there's a playground where the children play. And do you know what was on the other side of that road? What? York's house. <sighs> and guess which way his front porch was pointing? Which way? Directly at that playground. Oh, God. Now, mind you, these parents didn't see their children. Now, I asked, I did an interview with Khalil Armani a couple of years ago, and we just so happened to be talking about Nature Boy as happenstance will have it. And I asked him, you know, did he think that Nature Boy would turn into a York? And he said, not really, because we didn't have social media then like we do now. And well, we see Nature Boy in jail now, so he in jail, he ain't getting <laughs> no jail. I love it, but um, go ahead, ask me a question because I can ramble all day, but it might not be what you want, what you need. Um, that that was really it. I mean, you really kind of answered it. I mean, you confirmed that they are they are, for for whatever reason they are out here recruiting and uh, interviewing and talking out of nowhere. I don't it, know just so... if they all got visited by the same spaceship or what, or Cthulhu whispered in their ear, and I really don't care. All I know is right now, they are going to people that will let them on their platforms because they want the attention, they want the views, but they're not thinking about the fact that you're interviewing cult members. Exactly. Interview active cult members as they have not been deprogrammed they have not been debrainwashed they are not speaking their leader is speaking when you speak to them right you're not talking to that entity that person because that person has been hollowed out and filled with their leader put exactly. whoever you want there jim jones dave koresh you know the little the, the super cold over there in Japan, the one in South Korea. Yeah, you know, the one they just found up there. Um, dwell up in North and up up and down the East Coast of the USA, and another one and another one. Yeah, and another one and another one and another one. Yeah, I feel like I'm about to tired of them as I am a DJ Khaled saying in another one. <laughs> Okay. You know, but all this is all this does is make our situation worse. Listen, you'll have somebody tell you that this shit was paradise. Let me tell you, I have talked to the victims. I have talked to ex-members. I have seen the court documents. I haven't even finished going through them. They so sick. Oh victims. God. Do you know how old the youngest victim of York was? Um, from the video that I put out, and it was one victim that was talking, he said he first got molested by York when he was seven. That's not the youngest. I'm pretty sure it's not. The youngest is around four, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm pretty sure I'm right, because we were talking about this less than 48 hours ago. So, yeah. Oh man, yeah. He so I mean, th that, this is that's what that's what confuses me is because there's actual victims from this cult, I from this cult them leader, but then they have pile. followers. Followers. I watched them dogpile a victim because this is what they did right after York got arrested. They pressured the victims in the sign and redaction statements, but they never took them before the court. The only one that went before the court was Habiba Washington because she was a sworn in witness. So the um, York was gonna have was gonna try to get a new trial. His lawyer was gonna try to get a new trial off of that redaction statement she made. Guess what? His lawyer called her in the court, and do you know what she said? What? They wouldn't leave me alone. Everything I said in the court the first time is the truth, and that's believable. Because but that's to yeah. this day, look, it's almost 20 years to the day that York got arrested. It's 20 years and some change now, right? Uh-huh. 
I've talked to Chuck and Chuck has talked to various other members and they all say the same thing. This is the same exact rhetoric that they put out back in 2006 and 2007 when they was trying to launch that campaign for York to get out of jail. I'm gonna leave you with one thing and remember, I actually interview these people and right. quite a lot of them from York's cult. One of them, an ex-member, he knows somebody that worked at Supermax. Okay. And York has been aimlessly wandering around the jail, looking out of the window. I guess he looking for Nibiru. <laughs> but Nibiru was supposed to pop up in 2000 and he got arrested in 2002. So I don't know what he wants. But now he's in a wheelchair and he has a red dot in the middle of his forehead. You know what that is. Yeah. But last we heard, he's one foot in the grave and the other on a banana peel. He just recently got put in the wheelchair. Because you know this man is 80s. Oh, yeah. I, I heard that. Yeah. York was arrested for statutory rape before he ever started the Nuwakian, well, the answer a lot community at that time because they've been cowboys, they've been Indians. Um, no, <laughs> I always laugh when I think about when Sheriff Seals was talking about it. He says spaceships. He said he was the man from Planet Fisk with seventy-six trillion years of knowledge. Spaceships. <laughs> that is. That is crazy you know how what? people there believe is. this bullshit, dude. Like, well, it didn't start out like that. Let's, 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 get, let's get one thing clear and one thing for sure. It didn't start like that. Now, it didn't start at the most, you know, whatever, but it didn't get that bad overnight. That was a progression, you but know. But even at the progression where it is now, Look, people every are time still York following and believing this bullshit. People it's crazy. Left. Every time York changed the school of thought, people left. But they still call him Baba. Look, don't try to make sense of the senseless because you can't. Huh. They can't either, but they don't understand that. And that's what separates you from them. It's a fine line between you sitting up here talking about cults and you sitting up here and being in one. Right. I exactly. for one am not finna put on no funny clothes and no funny hat and start talking in funny ways and trying to reinvent the alphabet just to belong. You just don't to belong and it. try to and try that's to tell thing. our that's people it's this a, is your it's origin. A, this this is what pisses cults, me off. When yeah, when cults, cults, black work, cults try to they tell us you. where our origins are from. Like what yeah. the fuck but are see, you talking about, the, dude? That's why you have to have a solid foundation. Because they get these people, some of them they get by happenstance, and some of them they get people that are looking for something and they think they found it with them. It's but weird. York would tell them, if you don't believe me, look it up. But if you questioned him or you looked something up, he took offense. When York took offense, the rest of the members took offense. Because let's remember, they're no longer people. They're extensions of the cult leader. Exactly. And until they are no longer an extension, they are going to continue to talk about the leader's rhetoric. Whether it be they look look, they switch cults. That's not as surprising as, as y'all think it is. They they switch cults. That's all they do is they cult hop. Some people cult -hop. I mean that's exactly what Tron did. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to like disrespect but him I or believe, anything, but that's exactly what the fuck he raised did. new Wapian, but I'm going to leave you with another thought. York molested at least 130, 100 some odd children. He had 135. Two generations worth of people went through Tamaray and, and all the schools of thought. They, they went through living in a cult with Malachi Z. York, right? Mm -hmm. After York went to jail, they just went back into society. Do you know how many celebrities are connected with Malachi Z. York? Absolutely. Girl, I told yeah, you, you have to come on because 
Hollywood is the occult. I mean, that's not even that's that's a whole nother conversation. That nothing about that shit surprises me. That's that's neither Dr. here or there. York was, he had a group called Passion, and he was known as Doctor Love. Yeah, he came out with a record. And even there, he came out with more than one baby. <laughs> it's a, somewhere in this world. It's a country and western New Wapian album floating around. I shit you not. I know. I saw it. I saw it. I saw no, it. Saw I wouldn't listen to it. it. You saw the cover to it. That's not yeah. easily found. But I people have it. gotten laughed out of places trying to play that record. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he actually toured worldwide. Did you know that he he had sex in? In the islands? No, I didn't. I I I, I did you know not. The sex over in the UK. Which sect? Europe, New Wapians, whichever no. flavor they call themselves, the United Nations New Wapian. Look, if somebody tells you that they a sovereign citizen and they chief is Black Hawk Eagle Thunderbird, a Black Hawk Thunderbird, I always get that mixed up. If, if Black Hawk Thunderbird, something like that, if you hear that, that's your, or somebody pretending to be a, ma a, a student of the master teacher, they love that one. Oh they my are god, big old, they are on Clubhouse, they are on YouTube. Uma wrote a poem less than a week ago saying how her father was guilty. And less than 48 hours later, turned around and attacked the victim and said he was lying that her father molested him. Wow. Yeah. Okay. okay. And you know what? That's all I needed right there. Right there. That's what I needed. Okay, yeah. I go ahead and stop it. <laughs>